Hi, this is Jay McClellan, and in this video I'm going to show you the modular CNC controller that I built to run my CNC router and eventually to run my milling machine as well. I'm using this DDCS V1.1 CNC controller panel to control the machine. It's a small self-contained four-axis CNC controller and I built it into this box together with a manual pulse generator wheel, an e-stop button, and a couple of selector switches to control the operation of the MPG wheel. And so uh, in, in the MPG mode, I can rotate back and forth to jog the various axes of the machine. I built it so that I could mount it on uh, the side of my CNC router like this, but I made it so that I can also just pick it up and use it as a pendant. So if I want to take it inside the machine to do fine adjustment on one of the axes with the MPG wheel, uh, I can use this uh, with a long cord and um, set it right inside the machine and, and work up close. So this box is uh, 7 inches by 7 inches by 2 inches. It's an off-the-shelf bud aluminum enclosure and then I just made a back plate for it. And all of the signals coming from the CNC controller are brought out on this 37-pin uh, D-sub connector. And then I also have a uh, USB jack for the USB thumb drive, and that's uh, mounted right above the connector, so it's kind of mechanically protected from, from getting damaged when I'm using it in a handheld mode. Once the machine is set up, running a program from the panel is very simple. I've loaded a program from the USB drive that's plugged into here, uh, simply by selecting the file. And then to run it, all I need to do is press the start button and away it goes. It will turn the spindle on, set the spindle speed, and then uh, control the router to carve the pattern that I programmed. The file page shows the files on the thumb drive and we can cursor down to select a certain file of G-code to run. Just press enter to load it up and it's ready to go. The parameter page contains a large number of settings for controlling the operation of the machine. And I can save the parameters to a file for a specific kind of machine so that when I swap this controller to a different machine, such as my CNC mill, I can just load up an alternative set of parameters and be ready to run. Here's a view of the back. Uh, looking inside the box, you can see that the controller panel just barely fits inside this enclosure and I had to make some, uh, some custom brackets here in order to mount it in here because the little mounting flanges that it came with wouldn't really fit inside this box. So it's a snug fit, but there is room. And uh, I brought out all of the signals from this controller to the 37-pin D sub-connector except for the signals that go directly to the switches that are mounted on the front and the MPG wheel and back. So it's, uh, it's snug, but not too bad, and uh, wasn't too difficult to wire it up, just a lot of connections to make. The CNC controller pendant connects to this power supply module through its 37-pin cable, and this brings all of the signals from the CNC controller box into this, into this module. It uh, provides stepper drivers, uh, for the four axes, it provides a power supply for the stepper motors and a separate 24-volt power supply to run the controller box so that the uh, controller power is isolated from the stepper power. The stepper power is, tends to be fairly noisy because the stepper drivers draw fairly large current spikes as they're switching the stepper motors on and off. So having a separate supply just to run the controller box gives me much cleaner power for the controller. These are currently configured to put out about 3 amps of drive current to each stepper motor, which is what the stepper motors inside my CNC router require. So this controller box is suitable for what we might call a mid-size machine, but for my CNC uh, mill, when I do the CNC conversion, I can build another box with a larger power supply to drive it and larger stepper drivers, and uh, I can simply use the modular connector here to switch the controller pendant between the two power supply modules. On the back panel I have the 37 pin connector that goes to the CNC controller pendant. I have a 25 pin D sub connector that brings out all of the limit switch signals uh, so that if I have limit switches installed on the various axes I can connect them in here. I'm not currently using that but I wired it up so it's available. And then I have a round four pin connector for each of the four axes to drive the stepper motors. 
currently have X, Y, and Z connected, but no fourth axis connected yet. And then I have a spindle signal connector to control the spindle drive so that the CNC controller under G-code command can turn the spindle on and off and also set the rotation speed. So that's the system as it stands now, ready to run the three axes of my CNC router. And in an upcoming video, I'll be making a fourth axis for the CNC router, connected to the fourth axis of the controller box, and that will allow me to carve 3D patterns around the surface of cylindrical parts. So I'll be publishing that in an upcoming video showing the build of the fourth axis and use of it with this controller. Along with this video, I've supplied links to most of the components that I've used in case you want to build something similar. And if you subscribe to this channel, then you'll get notifications of future videos that I publish, such as the fourth axis build that's coming soon.